All right, well, I'm gonna work on building this out now. I am missing one thing that I need, which is the Noctua D12L heatsink that I have a coming in the works, hopefully. But uh, I'll at least get started with this. And uh, yeah, I'm working with the main case first because um, everything else is going in the motherboard tray. So, I mount the card reader. And then mount the front fans. And we'll set this aside. Hopefully, no doxing myself. I think I have an invoice sitting on the table. I'm going to have to look the other way and throw it somewhere else. I had to edit my uh, initial review video because the uh, invoice is in the box. I didn't think about that. Alright, so I'm going to take the screws off of this. I will not be getting optical drive, unfortunately, because the power supply I'm using doesn't have SATA power output cables for it. And I'm not going to bother to find them. Oh, so the optical drive is going to be there in spirit more than anything else. And hopefully I got the POV view better. I kind of played with the camera before I started recording. It seems like rather than pointing it out, I needed to point it more down. So that's what I ended up going with. <laughs> oh no. I just realized I don't have the tools I need to uh, tighten the motherboard standoffs. And syncing the dual view is kind of hard to do. Oh. oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, so this is basically going to be card reader. I said don't need optical drive that much anyways. I don't even know if that optical drive is good to be honest. So that's why you don't want to see properly. One problem I'm gonna have is figuring out how to space this. I assume I need to line it up the same holes I use for this tray. Looks somewhat nice. So yeah, basically the same full spacing as that tray. These screws, the holes don't line up quite right, but let's push it down a little. Sanity check, make sure I'm in frame. Hmm. I could use the screws that came with the screw kit, but I'm being stubborn. I want to use my screws. No good reason for it. <laughs> it's just what I'm doing. 
All right. <laughs> Let's do the front screws first, maybe. support. Why is that not lining up correctly? That changed the screwed in all the way. This is one of the downfalls of making a case modular. Whoops. Just smash my camera phone or my phone that is. Um they're kind of flimsy and floppy. Once everything gets where it's supposed to be, this will be less of an issue though. Alright. So now we gotta figure out the fans. And which way I want to orient the power cables. Because I have three of them. I a controller box. And I might have to see, I think there's like an RGB controller connectivity whatever thing. I might have to figure out. Um, I have to mount those though. I don't think I'm going to cable manage them at all in this video. I just want to look to see where my nearest fan end is going to be. I don't see one. Hopefully, I can set this up here. A uh, low end board, it doesn't have very good options for fan headers. So, I got one for chassis fan by the CPU, I have one for the back. I don't think I'm gonna use that one though. And with the way the tray lines up, it's gonna be right about towards the middle of the case. I don't think the cable management will be done in this either since I don't have the rest of the parts I need. I shouldn't have put this in. That's going to be in my way. <laughs> I want them to blow the air in, obviously, so... I don't want that going down. Hmm. Space. Coming out the bottom. Hmm, I think that'll work. I'm just gonna find a hat this bit of there. One thing that's kind of a bummer with these fans. Is they tried to do this like nice cable sleeving thing, but they didn't use the best heat shrink, so it all just kind of came apart. Show that the main camera since that'll be a bigger view. Um, so, it's probably a lost cause. Maybe if I shove it back in there. I think once I start pulling on it again, it's just gonna pull out. Stay in on this end. Also, these uh, leads are really long. <sighs> Should we do it that way? Yeah, I think we'll do it that way. And then I'll use the cable management thing on the motherboard tray, maybe to kind of swoop them around. And then I'll put the uh, control module in front of the power supply, essentially. Alright, need a bunch of case fan screws. 
12 total. Kind of wonder. It's probably not an original thought, but it'd be interesting if somebody made a, a little bit of a nicer way to attach these fans to a uh, computer case. My screwdriver. Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't know how. There's the. I guess the one way some of the manufacturers will do it with like a little push pin. But I find those really annoying and tedious to deal with, personally. So, I don't know how you would do it. How you would make it so the uh, fans could mount in a case in a manner that's toolless. I forgot to clean these. Oh well. They, uh, as I like to say, dust is a built-in dust filter. <laughs> Can't get more dusty if it's full of dust already. Got that the wrong way already. It's kind of in frame. <laughs> uh, the small view might be better than the big view. screw in. I'll tighten these after I get them all in. And there's no weird twisting or tweaking. slipped on that. Oh, those threads aren't biting either. <sighs> they were free. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Just have to remind myself I didn't pay any money for these and I can't complain. Cable's going to be in my way from the other fan adjacent to it. So I twist it out of the way a little. Uh, let's lay this down and uh, see what I'm working with. Mm, I'm not a big fan of that. I wonder if I can just kind of put it under the fan itself. We'll kind of guide them all below. There's enough length where so basically I'll just go under the fan and around the case. Hmm. <laughs> Make it easier to shove it in there once I uh, get the fan screwed in. going to see the side of my arm more than anything else. Oh, I am getting some other, I spent some money on some camera gear so I can uh, do more top-down stuff without using my janky setup. <laughs> tempted to just cut this cable sleeving off. It's kind of silly. Like it doesn't do anything. I mean there's five wires in there but I think they're all just side by side attached like a ribbon cable. It's gonna look clean though. Minus all the leftover dust. <laughs> yeah. I'm liking that. It's kind of funny. This is this computer is gonna get put together basically three times before it's actually done. I'll 
else. I'm probably going to reinstall Windows because I did a bunch of stuff to Windows that I shouldn't have. And, uh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> Not very nice to Windows. I almost wonder if these fans require longer screws because these screws just are not gripping at all. I know what the screws that came with look like. any fans too. That's sad. I'm doing those. Oh. Hmm. My POV cam cable is catching on my shoulder. Hopefully it's still lined up correctly. phone was looking at my other shoulder. <laughs> All right, one extra screw I don't need. Basically, this is done. And the fans spin freely. So that's a plus. I'm going to grab my uh, Faceplate. I'm gonna cover the POV here real quick because I think I have. Yeah, I'm gonna put my invoice in last. <laughs> uh, there we go. It snaps on real nice. So I'm gonna fix my boot lace. Oh. All right. That looks nice. I guess I don't know why I was complaining in the review why this isn't blue, because it's not blue either. <laughs> so yeah, that was a pointless complaint. Boy, oh, these are long. So yeah, these are going to go somewhere around there like that to the front I.O. stuff. Plug into there and... Yeah. I may think of a different way to mount that actually. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. Just realized I never blew out the video card. <laughs> I don't think I blew anything out. I'm just gonna do it inside the case. It's gonna get nice and clean after the fact. Put you in there and we're gonna grab the motherboard tray. So this is the exciting part. Um just thinking of how I want to approach this. Supply first. One thing that I am slightly disappointed about that this case doesn't come with that I've seen with other cases. Um, basically, it's a way to screw in the motherboard standoffs. And um, I'm trying to think how to describe it. So basically what some of the other cases I've worked with have come with is it looks like a socket for a socket wrench setup. But instead of having a square hole in the back of the cylinder that the socket is shaped as, it has a Phillips head hole. Basically just a way to um, screw in the standoffs without having to have a hex driver. 
Oh, totally, there's enough clearance to take this out without removing the heat sink. <laughs> Barely. Let's get on top of the motherboard. Or the screw box. Well, basically, that's all I need out of this case. You can go off the side. Hmm. <laughs> so now I can get this lined up correctly. Hmm. All right. I will admit this pull-out tray is my favorite part of this case so far, even if the uh, way it interfaces is kind of bad. Oh wow. It's even more modular than I realized. There's uh, screws and locator pins for the back I.O. So that means the, uh, I'm gonna call it I.O. shield or backplate. Even that's modular. Because I think there's different options for even the backplate. Let's see here. Those are in the right spot. This one. This one. I'm guessing this one. It is nice that standoffs have become the norm um, for stuff like this because gives you a lot more flexibility those two holes I also really like the fact that they have cut out for a heat sink backing plate Tighten these properly. Oh, <laughs> the bug was the wrong way. I'm like, wait a second. And everything's where it needs to be. It could be really mean and tighten it with those side cutters, but. I don't want to ruin my really expensive case. And then these two, I'm just going to throw them in a random spot in the motherboard tray out of the way. Because if I put them in the box, I'll never see them again. And then I'll never be able to find the right standoffs. Oh. Oops. I should I also shut my bottle of kerosene? All right, I think I need to run and grab a tool. All right, I'm back. I don't feel like figuring out how to uh, cut, cut that out and keep everything in sync. Oh, sweet, this is the one I was wanting to work. Red screws. Yep. Yeah, that's lined up Let's see if I can find coarse thread screws that don't have the little grippy bits. I may lose interest in this plane really fast. <laughs> Actually, 
should have put like, I don't think I had black ones. I don't know what the black ones it came with. I think they had the little bricky bits. Paid for them. I should use them. But I have a little box full of screws. So. Yeah, they have the little grippy bits. So. I'm going to use the ones I already have here in my books. <laughs> interest in this plan really quick on finding the uh, ones a little smooth. Let's see here. Maybe they're gonna have a bunch of round ones or hex ones. Oh, 40 millimeter fan grill. What's the screw I need? Nice. The only reason I don't want the ones the little grippy bits is because I don't like how they cut into the motherboard. If you're not careful, I mean you have to really try and be stupid to do it, but you can actually uh, tear up the PCB itself. There's a little bit of uh, lead free solder around the screw holes for the motherboards on most boards. And my assumption is, is that's so screw can basically bite down on the board and make good contact but in my case literally and uh, figuratively um, I want the screws that don't eat into the motherboard all right start with these outside ones be nice and lined up Supposedly the D12 alloy I have coming in will not interfere with the memory. <laughs> if it interferes with the memory, I'm going to be very upset because it's... I have a friend who's ordering it for me on Amazon since I don't have an Amazon account, let alone Prime. <laughs> uh, BDNH Photo didn't have it. And... Uh, I think Newegg had the heat sink, but I think it was way more expensive. And same with eBay. People are asking basically twice what MSRP was if I buy the heat sink on eBay. And it's like, you're just going to drop ship it from Amazon. So I'm good. I'm still kind of thinking in the back of my head what I want to do on those PCI slot covers. I'm probably going to use my own. I don't know yet. I don't like the finish on those. Not that I'm going to see it. I guess it will match the uh, galvanized finish of the case. It's being picky. Doing this one. So the nice thing about this tray is I almost have full access to <laughs> not quite. Yikes. I kind of a little close. I can for the most part access the uh, bottom of the CPU cooler mount. sad if I take this part again. Alright. Is this fine bread? <sighs> Better not be. Nope. Alright, it's not not lined up. It's like I don't think I've ever seen a slot cover screw holes be fine thread before. I just 
not going to line up very good. I think I'm going to have enough fingers to uh, hold that in place and uh, get the screw to play nice. I think when I was looking at reviews for this, I did see some cl complaints about the edges of the case being sharp, but I have yet to feel anything that's overly sharp. still in one piece. Edges are a little sharp on these slot covers usually. Let's see here. Six to one. Nice of them to include enough to cover all the slots. Although I don't know why they want it. going in the trash. <sighs> it's pissing me off. I think that's the same screw head problems with a different part on the when I was working on the GPU. just twist them backwards a couple times every time. It's a good trick to uh, make sure they're going the right direction where the threads are lined up that is. You loosen them until you hear a click basically and the threads should be seated in place. see. I don't know why I'm bothering with it, but yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> oh, alrighty. One more slot cover to go. Just glad these are removable. Um, and um, not, not uh, attached. Some of the cheaper cases, they don't come with the slot expansion slot covers because they just leave the metal in the frame and you have to snap it off if you want to put something in. Granted, I have covers, so yeah. All right, time for power supply. Yeah, I'm blowing this stuff up. Mm -mm. Big cobweb. Is there 
spider living in my power supply. Oh. I think that'll be interesting to see. Oh, cool. They did make it universal, which way you can point the power supply. Although, yeah, side of the case is invented, so it's a weird choice. I like it though. I like the flexibility that it, that it comes with. And we're going to use the optical drive blank for screws for the power supply. I have some anti-vibration mounts that I could use, but this power supply, the fans don't kick on, so um, I don't think it's going to be necessary. It's kind of funny how I uh, have the CPU fan heating the uh, video card, not that I have much of a choice, it's one or the other. Either heat the video card or the power supply. I end up going with the uh, D12L heatsink. I don't know if I said this or not, but it's because I might eventually upgrade to a uh, 5950X. Although I probably won't, but I wanted the ability to upgrade to it. And honestly, the. Um, because the D9L was the other option I looked at, which would have given me a 3U compatibility. That uh, would have been slightly underrated for my processor. So, yeah, go figure. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bother with cable managing this right off the bat since I'm still waiting on my heat sink. I think I need my chassis. I don't want to lose those. Hmm. that now that I have everything mounted oh, this is my oh no I lose my fan controller yeah. now that I've got everything mounted this uh, motherboard is going to be rigid and straight and it'll just slide right in feeling that a lot of this is not going to be on the main camera. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of on the main camera. Yeah, so I'm going to probably do some little wrapping and stuff and cable manage the 24-pin uh, to the tray. And I don't know how I'm going to do the PCI Express 8-pin yet. The 8 pin CPU, I would probably just zip tie it or spout grow strap it to the 24 pin, keep it out of the way. So it doesn't want to go all the way in. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do cable management later. <laughs> like how this is going to work out. Man, it's not long enough. I think 
guess they designed this for people that have front ports for USB 3. They have one twice the size. I don't think this board's nice enough. Yeah, this board's not nice enough. Almost makes me want to see if I have a uh, header extender for a USB 3.0 header. In the right direction? Nope. It's okay. A little bit more tension than I'd like there to be. Um, this has exposed metals, so I should probably make sure that doesn't touch anything. Power switch and power LED. Where is the front header stuff? I already forgot. I need the manual. It's not my book good enough. Unfortunately, since this is a budget board, it doesn't come with those fancy little breakout header thingies that uh, some of the nicer Asus boards I've had uh, include. Panel. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Sad thing is, I just don't have the motherboard transfer set. I mean, now I give you a lot of wiggle room with these. I hook them all up at the same time, I guess. There we go. RGB header. <laughs> Only the necessities. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we're going above. I feel like cable management matters in this. It's just, I don't know. Uh, I think for now, for the sake of lazy, it's just the final build. Sadly. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that plan. Although, Let's say I mount that on the motherboard tray. How annoying would that be? That's not bad. I may end up doing that. For now, it's just going to sit here loose and janky looking. But um, I think since I don't have a full ATX motherboard, I'm going to uh, mount this just like this. I'm just going to go down here somehow and some better cable management than that. Oh, I still gotta get the motherboard tray in. Mm. <laughs> Alright, I just need a good slap on the butt. I don't even know if it's appropriate to make jokes like that anymore. <laughs> Oh no. So, yeah, I need some uh, cable management still. <laughs> but. I can keep the wires out of the fans. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna 
do some minor housekeeping and then um, I'll uh, be back with the finished product. Well, there will still be one more video on this case, but can't help check. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> huh. The, uh, oh, that's disappointing. The uh, front fans aren't very visible through the uh, dust filter. I thought they would uh, light up a little bit more than that, but um, you can hardly tell they're there. <laughs> but it should be pretty nice as the uh, Cooler Master fan gets angrier and angrier as time progresses. <laughs> Yeah, this this is not gonna work. I don't like that heatsink. It's too noisy. Um, but put the cover on. Maybe. Oh, are you kidding me? That looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. I think blue was a good choice. Didn't want to pay for it, but at the same time, I think it was a good choice. So, unfortunately, there'll be one more part later this week um, as I wait for my heat sink. Oh, it's pretty quiet. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I will be editing the video on this PC, so that'll be fun. But hopefully that's interesting, and thanks for watching.